Hi, and welcome to JD's Longbox. I'm your host, JD. If you've seen my introduction video, then you know that the thing that really got me into comic collecting was the Death of Superman storyline, followed by the Reign of the Superman, that introduced four potential replacements for the Man of Steel. Although it was that cyborg Superman that enticed me to buy the first set of comics, it was the art and personalities of two others that kept me coming back month after month. One was the Grim Eradicator, and the other was a brash young clone that would eventually accept the moniker Superboy. For this 60 second review, we're taking a look at The Adventures of Superman number 501, published in 1993 by DC Comics. This version of Superboy was created by Carl Kessel and Tom Gume, based on the original Superboy created by Jerry Siegel. The writer was Carl Kessel, pencils were by Tom Gume, the inks were by Doug Naslewood, and the colors were by Glenn Whitmore. While Superboy's true first appearance was in a teaser at the end of Adventures of Superman number 500, it's here, number 501, that we get our first look at the Metropolis Kid in action. The story starts with Superboy busting up some car thieves and all around ne'er do wells. But unlike the real Superman, this Superboy is just play acting the part, more interested in showing off than actually being a hero. He then introduces himself to Lois Lane, hoping to get favorable coverage in the press. And this leads him to the introduction of his future love interest, the young news anchor Tana Moon. He gives Tana exclusive coverage of his exploits, and the two of them head to Metropolis's suicide slum to take down a wanted supervillain. While he fights his way through the slums, Chase and Superboy's confidence start to show through. This, coupled with Lois's observation that the kid wasn't raised by Martha and Jonathan Kent, reminds us that this inexperienced Superman wannabe still has a lot to learn. Nezowitz inks bring sharp line precision and subtle cross-hatching to Gourmet's pencils that show a mastery of composition and detailed figures. And Whitmore's vibrant colors brings everything to life, always working to pop Superboy from the backgrounds. The writing gets an 8.5. The colors gets a 9. The inks gets a 9. And the pencils gets a 9.5. This adds up to a 90%. This story did a lot of heavy lifting, setting up Superboy's personality, power set, and supporting characters, along with his future dealings with Lex Luthor and Supergirl. I hope you liked this 60 second review. Be sure to like and subscribe and then check out some of my other videos. I'm JD and until next time, this box is closed.